Hi, Georgia Pants here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty Christmas card. This Christmas card is made with non stamping up stuff, apart from the sentiment, which I will use a stamping up Merry Christmas, a different one. Um, to make this card, I used these. Majestic um, stamps. They're made by Cardio. I got these in Peterborough. Um, you can't see. I've actually got the stamps out. Uh, the acorn and the leaf came from festive fir cones, and the branch, the twigs, the flowers. And that leaf came from Oriental Blossom. And there are www.cardio-cardio.com. The house seam came from Arcure Stamping System. And it is a small church with trees around it. So... To make this card, I used a card base of 5 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths. Yeah, so this is 11 and 3 quarters cut at 5 and 7 eighths, folded in half and burnished, which I'd already done. A piece of cardstock at 5 and 5 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths, go on top there. No, that goes on the inside. Get myself confused here. That goes on the inside. A piece of mossy meadow at five and five eighths by five and five eighths. Go on the outside. And a piece of white cardstock at five and a half by five and a half. Goes on like that. I've also got a scrap of white to do the sentiment. So we need to stamp on this. And put that there. That's just my side. Right. To get the circle, all I've got is I went for one of my bigger dies and I drew a circle in pencil around the middle of the in the middle of the card. So I think that's the middle. And then I just run round it with a pencil. Where I could. Like that. I can just about see that. I've got a shadow on here. Hope you don't have a shadow. I've got my main ceiling light on and even though it's the middle of the afternoon it's quite overcast. Right, to start this I've got the twig um, stamp and some soft suede. Now all I did is cut the stamp and I put the bottom of the stamp and the top of the stamp on the circle. Don't worry about the rest. Stamp it off and then I stamped and stamped. And the, I did that all the way around right. The next time I put it to the top of this first branch I did. how I followed the circle all the way round. Now 
Now where I've, like here it's not quite come out so I will just add another bit there and there and there. Bring it out a bit. And there is my circle. Alright, that's that finished with. Next we're going to put the house in the middle. And for this I've used a uh, tuxedo black. And we're just going to stamp that in the middle. Like that. Then I'm going to get our acorns and with our And I'm going to place some acorns there and some there and some there and some like that there. Now I'm going to place some flowers, so with real red, my two little tiny flowers, I am just going to pop, I think I should have used, let's get some cherry cobbler so it's not very dark. I think it was cherry cobbler I used. Right, let's see. Oh yeah. And just went around the whole Mossy Meadow, my little tiny leaf, I went round and added a few leaves, <laughs> lots of leaves, to these tiny flowers.
bite these little stamps. I've also got another set I bought last year and I never used them but I have actually used them this time round as you'll see or have seen depending on whichever way I upload these cards onto YouTube whichever one comes first they are um, Christmas lights I think that will do. She says adding more, like I always do. Alright, and now some foliage on the acorns. I'm using old olive, so it just gives us a different kind of green. I think right that's the right way up but I'm going to put them down the middle of the acorn There we are. Now all we've got left to do is to colour the house, which I never got any pens out for. So dark daffodil delight for the windows. in light crumb cake will do the brick Got a window. Did I forget that window there? Um, right, so. 
soft suede light for the fence. Old Olive Dark for the trees This is new enough what I'd done on a previous card but ooh, nearly coloured in the snow dark um, soft suede for the bench I gave the other one red door, but this one I'm going to give it a blue door because I coloured the door in yellow. And the back door I coloured in yellow. Oh yeah. And then to highlight the snow, I went over it in smoky slate. With the brush in, I just went over the No bits, just with a bit of grey around the edges. Just to highlight it a bit. the tower. Whenever I do these cards, they always come out different because I never use the same colours. Oh, 
What have I forgotten? Dirty footprints. <laughs> I think that's it. Right, let's stick this down before I do the um, sentiment. That did I put anything in the middle of this one? I did, and I haven't got that stamp set with me. Let me see if I've got it here. I have. I put on it the light the shepherd saw that night. Is that there? This is from Star of Light. Thought it was appropriate being that it's a church. Stick this inside. just a sentiment to go on so I'll close my glue up and well this Merry Christmas come out of the Merry Pattern Christmas stamp because it's the only Merry Christmas I've got that will go in this label punch I think I've used it a few times and that will just go there on dimensionals. Oh, I've got ink on my thumb. I 
think I need to ink and glitter. Don't like them blue doors. Hmm, a bit late now. Can't change it. Well, that is it. That's our Christmas card done. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. Um, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload. Which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.